Hello, Dr. Joe from Hope Brain and Body Recovery Center. Today I have a special guest. She looks like me. It's my sister, Cheryl. Cheryl's a uh, year older than I am, too. Two, two years. years older than I am, okay? Although she's always looked younger than me. <laughs> That's what everybody says. She looks younger than me. And she was always smarter than me. So, but the thing about it is I, I did a video about um, our family and stroke. A uh, big concern for us because our dad died at se uh, when I was seven and Cheryl was nine. Mm -hmm. And a uh, great man in our life that um, everybody loved. He's just a great man. And then he was taken away from us too soon from the effects of a stroke. And then um, my mother had a stroke. When she was 72, she's 90 now. Right. And then Cheryl had a stroke uh, a couple of years before I had a stroke. Right. So we'll just call us the Stroke Schneiders. <laughs> It's, it's kind of ridiculous, but right, it's the truth. It's and it's a big concern in the pattern of our health. Um, and um, so we're going to be raising $200,000 in honor of my father, John Richard Schneider. Correct? They call him Jack. And um, in honor of him, we're going to raise $200,000. And we're going to start a campaign so that we can use the methods that we use in our office, Hope Brain and Body Recovery Center. Those methods will be proven in lab now. And I'm just so excited about that. So before I kind of kick the bucket and I'm out of here, I want to accomplish a few things around stroke and health for people. But I've already accomplished stuff for stroke. One is my experience and my comeback from stroke uh, was practically miraculous with all the things that I received um, from functional neurologists, my colleagues in the industry, which I was so blessed to get their knowledge, right? And then Cheryl, my sister, has been coming here for about 10 weeks? Mm -hmm. About 10 weeks. And she's been coming once a week and been getting uh, our functional neurology, our chiropractic care, and for her own type of issues, and you know the weaknesses that you have, you can see it when you do all the type of rehab that we do with you, right? right? Um, and then we started a few weeks ago uh, neurofeedback with her. So our office is not about neurofeedback, it's not about laser, it's not about IM, it's not about the different exercise we do, it's about the person. Correct. All right, each person is different and they needed a variety of what we have to get them better. And um, so last week we were talking and one of the things that Cheryl had was some anxiety after, or a lot of anxiety after her stroke. I had a lot of anxiety after my stroke. Um, it really does affect emotionally, uh, mentally, emotionally, physically, everything gets it affected. Does. It, it does. does. And um, blood pressure medication affects you in certain ways, can give you a lot of anxiety too. My medication affects me a lot, like um, I'm on beta blockers and it gives me so much fatigue like I feel like great and then for hours I'm doing great stuff and then all of a sudden I get a slam with a hammer over my head that says no more. And I can't get my heart rate up and so forth and so on normally. But you know what? As I work it, I will get better, right? And my sister is working it and she's getting better and improving. So when you have a stroke, it's not hopeless anymore. Right. There is still hope. And that's what we are designing in our center, the Hope Brain and Body Recovery Center, is we're bringing back people. We're making transformative changes in their lives. And we're not going to give up ever on ourselves or anyone else out there. So Cheryl, why don't you tell me a little bit about your experience? What, what would you like to tell our audience uh, about coming to the Center for Care? Well, I had my stroke in May of 2015. I did intensive uh, physical therapy and it got me back to be able to walk. I wasn't able to walk, wasn't able to use my left side pretty well. Um, and I also had some speech problems. I also had concentration problems. Um, I was able to rehab back and after three months I was able to return to work full time, which was kind of unheard of to be able to do that. But I knew at the time that I was back at work that there was a lot of issues that I was having and I was trying to control it internally. I was having concentration problems, I was having anxiety problems, but I was always trying to maintain that I was okay, that I was gonna get through this. 
But then it got to the point where I was get, getting overwhelming anxiety and kind of depression because I would get exhausted from the day and I would be so overwhelmed. I, my affect was different. I knew my personality was not the same um, and it worried me. And I, th I came to my brother and I said, you know, what can you do for me? How can you help me? And this is the program that he's developed for me, specifically for me. And when I first came, I was very, very frustrated because a lot of the things that he was asking me to do was a challenge and I couldn't do it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm really bad. But as I came more and more often and I'm with encouragement of the office, I've overcome a lot of those problems that I could not do and I'm getting much better much better with my concentration, my anxiety level has gone down, I can communicate. Before I couldn't communicate very long, I could talk to people, but then I would have to stop because it was overwhelming my brain. And it was making me very anxious because I wanted to get things out, I wanted to explain things, but I couldn't. But now I feel that I'm more confident, I can talk, um, I can relate to people better, I can have my personality is back. Like one of my friends just said recently to me, you're, you're almost back. You're almost who you were before you had your stroke. And that was so, uh, so uh, I was felt so grateful for that because it really, uh, I could see, I could tell that people knew that I was different. They weren't saying it, but they knew that I was different. But now I feel like I'm coming back, I'm becoming me again. And that makes me so happy. Well, wow, that's, that's great. Because you know what? Becoming me again uh, is really, uh, it just hit me when you just said that, right? When you have a stroke, you feel like you lose yourself. Right. Right? Like you said, physically. You lose yourself physically. You can't move your left side. You can't walk right. You, you know, I mean, you can't do things. If you walk for any distance up a stairway, then you're like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I won't go home. Right? But, you know, you can't go home, especially when you're working. You go early in the morning. You get yourself working together, and you feel good. You're going ready. To, and then all of a sudden, you hit that wall again, and then you go home. And then the anxiety comes in about trying to do that again the next day and the next day. So I know how you feel. My sister knows how you feel. And uh, that's something that in our center and with the work that we do, we want to change that for everybody. We want to say, when you say, I can't, yes, you can. And it, like I say, with all the people that are here, it takes a lot of courage to do it. So when she started, and I asked her to do something and she couldn't do it. it it's, I mean, I, I just like, you know, say to people, you just gotta do it, you know what I mean? Right. And it's hard for you to realize that when you gotta do it, you get over that hump and then you're saying, wow, well, I'm doing better, right? And on every little thing, you're doing better and better and better. And then all of a sudden you get to a point where you can start to feel that yourself is coming back. Right. You know what I mean? It's like kind of like, after a couple of weeks, you're like, oh yeah, it's happening. Like you know? a switch goes off and you feel like, oh my God, I feel better. Exactly. So that's what we're building here. And we're gonna have a great expansion coming next year. Uh, we've got all the um, investors coming in to do the work for us. And um, we'll be doing great things in the next year. We'll have a gyrostim, we'll be spinning people in chairs in different directions. We'll be getting PET scans of the brain, looking at different areas that are stimulated through rotational devices which are very powerful rotational devices with laser pointers um, we'll be working brains in ways that uh, people haven't now I know all these therapies are everywhere in the world okay but we have a unique combination and we have professionals here that understand it and on top of that we do traditional chiropractic better than most <laughs> so it's, it's such an important part of what we do and we do acugrass, we do uh, oriental medicine. Um, my partner, Dr. Yang, is uh, a pharmacist. So we have a professional pharmacist here who can look at medications and tell you about all your medications, how they affect you in every way possible. You can't get better uh, consultations on medications than with Dr. Anjan Yang. She's just absolutely phenomenal. So we have a great center and it's gonna get better and better. Don't wait till it's the best, because we're already the best right now. Uh, come in sooner and consult with us. Let us design a plan that gets your life back. And when you get your life back, there's no special feeling that can change that. All right? Thank you very much. Thanks, Cheryl. You're welcome.
She looks younger than me. Yeah, I think. 